how to add a contact form in WordPress using Elementor's Builder. So let me show you how on my desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to embed a JotForm on Elementor. So let's get started by building a simple JotForm. So let's go ahead and create a form, start from scratch, classic form, and let's drag in some basic elements just for demo purposes. Okay, there we go. We have a basic form right here where we're asking for the name, address, and email. Now, what we are going to need is to head on over to Publish, and we're gonna head on over to Embed, and we're going to need this little piece of code. So let's go ahead and copy this code. Now, let's head on over to our WordPress site. So this is my WordPress site, main dashboard, and I already have Elementor plugin installed. That means I can start building sites with Elementor. So let's go into Pages, and we are going to open up one of our pages where we want to add our job form. So let's go ahead to edit. And we are going to edit with Elementor. So let's click on that. There we go. We are now in the Elementor section. And what we are going to need is to add the HTML code widget inside of our page. So let's search for code. And we're going to add HTML code. Okay. Let's drag it in here. There we go. And now we have a little piece of section where we can add that code. Remember the code that we just copied? Well, that's what we're going to use right here. So let's go ahead and paste it. Let's go ahead and update it. And let's click on this little eye right here where it says preview changes. Let's check it out. And here is the form that we've just built. Just like that, we're able to embed our form into Elementor. Now there's a few settings that you can tweak around if you want to switch around here on Elementor. We can head on over to advanced section and we can play with the margins. You can see how the, the little square right here is moving along. So if I make it bigger, it's stretching. I can also work with padding just in case you have this embedded in a section where you need padding or sections. We can work with width, position, C index, CSS if you need to go in more in depth, motion effects, transform, background, and do a whole lot more. Now, if you like what you've done, go ahead and click on update and you're good to go. Let's click on our, our menu here, burger menu. We can exit the dashboard and that page has been added that form. Now, what if, we, what if we want to add this form into a post? Well, we head on over to post and we can work with this demo post right here. And we are going to edit with Elementor. So let's click on edit with Elementor. And again, just like we worked before, we are going to search for the code element. We're going to drag it in, add our code. We can preview with the eye. And there we go. We've just embedded our form in a post. So just like that, you can embed your jot form into Elementor pages and post. Well, we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.